Do you remember the intro? Yes. Ready? Yeah, it's only been seven. Hi, friends. <laughs> Welcome. We are two <laughs> sisters trying stuff. I'm Sarah. I'm Jessica. And it's been a minute yeah. since we have Just recorded a, a video. Minutes. Just a few. <laughs> Hasn't been that long. Uh, so we have had a crazy busy summer. We're wedding photographers. We've been doing lots of wedding sessions, traveling. And now it's fall, which is And now crazier. it's fall, which is even <laughs> crazier. So anyway, we want to give a big shout out and a thank you to all of our new subscribers. And also, let's talk about that British candy video. Yeah. And we did have a comment that we talked too long, so maybe we should get through our oh, okay. intro faster. So yeah, welcome. Um, so welcome everyone. Thank you so much for watching our videos. We really appreciate it. We also appreciate all the comments. Um, and we want to dedicate this video to a special little someone. <laughs> we want to dedicate this video to our little friend, Everly. We know you watch our videos and uh, we've been gone for a little bit. So we decided we would dedicate this video to you. Yes. And we're <laughs> so glad that your little broken arm is getting better. Yes. Okay. So what we're doing today is we are trying a new snack crate. And this one hails from the land of Germany. <laughs> um, it has, I mean, y'all know how snack crate works. So we're just gonna dive right in. Yes. We're just gonna dive in, people. No more of that talking. No, don't talk. Okay. Much, I don't know how to pronounce any of these things. Okay. If any of you are from Germany, know how to speak German, you please, please forgive our pronunciation. I took three years of Spanish, okay? <laughs> I'm gonna do my best. So these are the Erdnablocken. They I are like that accent. <laughs> a salty puffed corn snack made with real peanuts. These are seriously addictive. We're gonna turn that sound off. Okay. Snack number one. What do you smell peanut peanut tea? I'm sure they do. Ooh, they look like those um those puffs that we got at um, Trader Joe's. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, they right. look like the the puffs. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Never mind. Yes. Those. <laughs> what you just said. <laughs> what, did, what were you thinking? Yeah. I don't know. I thought for a second you meant Jungle Gyms when you said Jungle <laughs> They look like little, they look like tiny little um, Cheetos, but they smell like peanut butter. All right. Ready? Yeah. Mmm. These are good. They're very salty. Mmm. I like them better than the ones from Trader Joe's. You like just a strict saltiness. Mm -hmm. You yeah. don't want any kind of sweetness. No. Mm, those are good. Mm -hmm. These are good. <laughs> they remind me of a cereal. Like the texture of the mm -hmm. puff. What kind of cereal am I thinking of? Cereal. <laughs> <laughs> um, kicks or... What are the peanut, Reese's peanut butter puffs? Yes, that's what I'm thinking mm -hmm. of, but salty. Well, those are delicious. So what would you rate those? Uh, four out of five. Four out of five? Mm -hmm. I'd probably say a three out of five. I kind of like the little bit of sweetness in the Trader yeah. Joe's ones. Next. Right. Let's try these. All right. This isn't going to be too hard to pronounce. These are called knickknacks. <laughs> knickknacks barbecue. Crunchy peanuts that are coated in a zesty barbecue flavor, a German favorite that you can't put down. Okay, I sense a theme happening here. <laughs> They're like peanuts. Uh, apparently so. <laughs> it's like Thai food. All right, how do I open these? Use your teeth. Oh no. Oh, oh no. no. Tear here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh no. <laughs> oh. Now, I don't love barbecue flavor things. They smell very vinegary. Oh, they do. Oh, weird. They remind me of something. I'm taking a bite. Mmm. Hmm. Mmm. Well, that's different. Oh, I like those, though. That is different. I like them. Um, so, the barbecue mm -hmm. part is kind of like this crunchy outer coating. 
and then you just have a peanut in it. It's like a cross between, it's like if you took Fritos chili cheese. Mm. Fritos chili cheese. Chili Chip. cheese Fritos. <laughs> <laughs> and wrapped them around a peanut. Oh, I like those. Yeah, at first I was like, this is weird. But it they are correct when they say that you can't put them down because that. Oh, yeah, yeah I can eat, eat that whole, whole thing. thing. And it's not like a. I think the thing I don't like about most of our barbecue flavored things is that they always taste like a little too sweet and yeah. smoky. And these, they do have smokiness. I would say. They're a little more so tangy. If, I would say if you're from the States and you have, and you've tried different barbecues and stuff across the country, this is most similar to a, like, Kansas City, like, mm -hmm. Missouri barbecue sauce, that it's a little more tangy and not quite as sweet. Yeah. But not quite as mustardy as, like, a Carolina barbecue <laughs> sauce. I don't know. Our, for, our foreign good. viewers are probably like, what the heck are you talking about? We have all different kinds of barbecue sauce. You come to the States, not all bar not all barbecue is created equal, okay? <laughs> Trust me. Those are those are good. Those are really good. Um, I'm going to save some of those for Chris. <laughs> I honestly think I'd probably give those a four out of five as well. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to be extra and go four and a half. Oh, yeah, I know you would. <laughs> all right, should we go for a sweet? Yeah. Okay. These Let's are... What's next? Hold on. These are... Haribo, Haribo, I don't know how to say it, but we do have this here in the States. Volcano Fizz. Volcano shaped fruit gummies that erupt with sour lava. Oh, good. Oh. Sour. <laughs> it's your favorite. <laughs> this is the Haribo we've all been waiting for. Okay. So we have Haribo in the States, but we usually, it's, they do like gummy worms, gummy bears, bears. kind of things. Um, I've never seen these before. I'm gonna though. go for this blue. I don't. I always pick like the blue or the red. This one. Mine's like an orange with the red in the middle. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna have to take a close up so you can see that. Yeah. Aren't <laughs> so cute? You can see so like the cute. volcano. Yeah. The lava in the lava. middle. Lava. <laughs> All right. Oh, I put the whole thing in. Hmm. Mmm. It's sour. Mm-hmm. It reminds me of a gusher. Mm-hmm. But, but sour. <laughs> Our gusher's not sour. Mm -hmm. I haven't had one in a million years. Mm. These are delightful. I like them. I don't feel like I could eat very many of them. They're, it's a lot, go they're kind of big, for one thing. Yeah. Oh, and the middle is sour. Oh, the middle is sour. But, how would you, so, if you've ever had, I know, if you've ever had a gummy shark, oh yeah, that's the, what it's the like. The gummy now. sharks have the white on the bottom, and then they have a regular like blue gummy on top. So it's similar to that, but then it has the sour, syrupy stuff in the middle, like a gusher. So it's very different. Doesn't Haribo make those sharks? Probably. I think they do. This is very similar to those. Um, I'd give those a two out of five. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan. They're okay. I, I didn't get any fizz. No, it didn't taste fizzy it's to me. Mainly just sour. But if you all have watched any of our videos where we've tried candy, I don't like sour stuff. So, <laughs> it makes me salivate. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna botch this. All right. These are Frigio Kunzber <laughs> Pufries. <laughs> I'm sure that's exactly how oh, you say yeah, it. Oh yeah, exactly. These colorful fruit flavored bites made from rice and corn are sweet with just a hint of sour in every bite. Oh good, more sour things. These are so weird. Like we opened this box before we did the video and I was like, what are those? It kind of looks like cereal. Mm -hmm. It's very lightweight. How do you eat? Like do you literally just, people just put them in their hands? Let's do like dad does with popcorn. Okay. Here like someone's going to take it from us. Oh, okay. Um, Ooh. Oh, I tried it already. Uh-oh. Well. Hmm. They don't smell like anything. It's These very are airy. Weird. Wow, those are weird. I don't hate them. They taste like sour Lucky Charms. They're no, 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 no. Not Lucky Charms. Um, Fruit Loops? Sour Fruit Loops, yeah. I don't know. Wow. What is that consistency? Like, 
What would you compare that to? And they are sour. This is the strangest sweet thing I've ever eaten in my life. I don't know. I don't know how I to describe these. I kind of want to put these. them in a bowl of milk. I think the sour would be weird No. Milk. Mm -hmm. I think it would be kind of good. The flavor reminds me of like a bubble gum. Yeah. Like all together they kind of have a bubble gum flavor. But then they're Zebra sour. Mm-hmm. For reals. Tootie fruity. Okay. What is the con what is what is it? It's definitely like cereal. They're kind of like kicks, only small. <laughs> That's what it is. <laughs> They're kicks. They're fruity kicks. Fruity sour kicks. They're weird. Yep. Those are getting a those are also getting a two. Um I might give them a one. I would like to know how, like, okay. How if, do you eat these? Yeah, if you're from Germany oh, yeah, or you've lived there them. or you have eaten these, <laughs> do you just really just, like, pour them in your hand and just eat them? Comment down below and let us know. They taste like bubble gum. Yeah. They taste like a sour, fruity bubble gum. It's very interesting. This is... I can pronounce this one, too. Yeah. This is called Corny Big. A German twist on your favorite cereal bar. Roasted whole wheat flakes and cereal crisps doused in rich milk chocolate. It's going to taste like a... Um, Chewy granola bar? Yeah, but what's that one brand called? Kudos. Kudos! Like from, they don't yes. even make those anymore. Yes. <laughs> it's a German kudos bar. First of all, it's about twice the size of a kudos bar. <laughs> Does anybody remember those? You could get them in like yes. M and M, and like it would be like drizzle with chocolate. Our grandparents used to have them. We would always so eat good. them. So good. It's actually not covered in chocolate. No, just the bottom. It has chocolate chips in it, like kudos. Yeah, but I mean, it's just like a chewy granola bar. You want? Is that a good enough piece? Yeah. So we got some oats, some crisp Very chewy. rice, some little chocolate crisp rice thingies, some chocolate chips, and. Probably like some syrup to hold it all together and then chocolate on the bottom. It looks like a did you say chocolate? Yeah, 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 those rice? chocolate yeah. rice. Chocolate balls. <laughs> well, chocolate balls. Alright. Hmm. It's very chocolatey. Mm-hmm. But not a sickly sweet chocolate mm -hmm. like ours. It's sweet. <laughs> yeah, it definitely tastes like it tastes a little darker. Yeah, it tastes, has more of a bitter, bitter sweet taste mm -hmm. to it. I like it. I don't mind it. I wouldn't eat it for breakfast. Hmm. Is that what they say? Well, it's a cereal bar. Mm. Well, most people eat those for breakfast. <laughs> this would be a snack. I give that a three out of five. You know, I would agree with you. They gave us two of these. Oh. Yeah. There's a whole other one in here. Okay. <laughs> Come on, Sarah. <sighs> This is a, oh no, Mar, Mar Mokuchin? <laughs> I have no idea. I know I didn't say that right. This is a delicious combination of sweet vanilla and chocolate cake mixed together in a delightful marble pattern. Mmm, cake! <laughs> I love cake. Oh, and it's covered in chocolate. Oh, got a little melty. It's not pretty anymore. No. Oh, it's soft. I mean, it's cake, right? Yeah. Do you want that big piece, or do you want to take a bite, and then I'll take a bite? Give you the smaller half. Okay, the smaller half. It smells chocolatey. First of all, the chocolate is dark, which is great. The chocolate coating on the outside, that is. So anyway, <laughs> this Marcus cushion. That was delicious. <laughs> what are we doing? Okay. What are we Wait, we gotta rate it. What would you oh, rate yeah. it? I'd rate that a four out of five. Same brain. Four out of five. <laughs> it was delicious. I would definitely eat it again. It tasted kind of like a Swiss roll. But a little better. I don't know. A little better. With some cream. Ooh, Pause for if, if they would put some cream in it, it would have been really mm -hmm. good. Let's do a salty. Okay. These are. Hold the phone. Are you ready for this? Awesome pronunciation. I hope that you've got this. Okay. These are chips frisch ungarisch. I don't even know. I don't know what accent that was. Classic crunchy potato chips flavored with the taste of sun ripened bell peppers. Paprika. Yeah. Okay, 
for a chip. They smell toasty, mm. like smoky. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I like those. No? Mm. They're pretty underwhelming. They're not very salty. They're not very flavorful. Did you did you get ones with flavor? Mm -hmm. Oh no, my that one doesn't have any flavor. It's not a strong flavor, but it's like barbecue. Yeah, kind of like a smoked paprika. I think they're I think they're pretty good. Like I would eat them. I'm not a huge like flavored chip person unless yeah. it's salt and vinegar. I'd give them like a two. Yeah, I'd give these a three. They kind of just tasted like barbecue chips without the sweet or like the spicy this one i can pronounce hold the phone because it's kind of got spanish <laughs> this is the kinder bueno layers of delicious crispy wafer filled with a rich hazelnut cream and coated in milk chocolate oh they're individually wrapped oh good that's pretty cool they're a little melty we've had this box for a while because now the weather has changed to a wonderful fall temperature. <laughs> but a couple weeks ago, it was like 90. So there's two bars in there, kind of like a Twix. And they're each individually wrapped, unlike a Twix. Yes. You don't have to break me off a piece of that. <laughs> I, I Honestly, what I think it is, because it says two on the outside. So yeah. it's like telling you like there's two bars. Yeah. And then there's like four squares yeah. in each bar. This has hazelnut, right? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And like a wafer on the I'm bottom. I'm excited about that. So kind of like a Twix, or I mean a um, Ooh. Kit Kat. Mine came apart. Um, there's like a wafer, and Ooh, there's hazelnut cream mm -hmm. and chocolate. Mmm. It's very sweet. Mm-hmm. I like it though. I don't really like it. You don't? Mm-mm. I, like I don't. It. I like, like how that. light it is because it has the wafers in it. I don't like the chocolate in those Kinder Kinder. Bars oh, you don't like there. Kinder chocolate? Mm -mm. Oh. I like it. It's got like um, a nice like crispy wafer on the inside, and the hazelnut cream is really light. But mm -hmm. it is sweet. It mm -hmm. is sweet. I'd probably give that a three out of five. I'd give it like a one. It's just personal taste. Oh, wow. I was, out of all the things we've tried so far, that was probably my least favorite. Oh, wow. Well, then. Well. Let's keep Sarah going. Sarah like it. What are these? La Gummy Mini. Fruit gummies in an array of delicious flavors create funny faces from the different shapes. Oh, create funny faces from the different shapes. Oh. So it, like, encourages you to, uh... Put a couple cherries on the lemon. Oh, I see. <laughs> oranges. Make funny faces. I see. I was like, what? I thought maybe they were like, there's like a smile in there. I know. That's what the I eyes. thought. Yeah, there's an orange. It's so tiny. Maybe another? I don't know. That also looks like an orange. I think this is a lemon. They are like babies. A lemon? I don't know. I don't know how you would make a face out of these. Like, they're teeny tiny. They're minis. <laughs> They're also very clear. Mm -hmm. All right. I've got, I think maybe that's a lemon. Mm-hmm. Mm. Tastes like a fruit snack. Oh, they're chewier than a fruit mm -hmm. snack. They're not as soft as a fruit snack. They're, yeah, they have more chew to them. What's wrong with that? There's you? something there. <laughs> it reminds me of something. <laughs> Why are you hitting yourself? They remind me of something too. Oh, it's gonna make me crazy. Probably like a gummy worm. Mmm. Yeah. Ooh, the, I like that. that I guess it's lime. The green yeah, one. Good. Yeah. I don't know why I'm trying to read this because it's all in German. I don't know what it says. <laughs> I'm like, oh, what flavor is the green one? You can try to pronounce no. it like me. No. Um, those were very good. I give those another three out of five. I agree. Three I'm out of five. I'm on a three out of five train. Three out of five. <laughs> Everything's three out of five. All right. We actually got two packs of those as well. These are called Knoppers. Crispy hazelnut wafer cookies filled with delicate nougat and sweet milk cream. These sound good. Yeah. I feel like they might be kind of sweet. But I think I've had these because you can get them at Aldi. 
But I know they have like the Ooh. yeah. I like the different layers. Yeah, that looks really. Well, good. there's like four different layers there. So we got chocolate, cream, wafer, hazelnut in there somewhere. Oh, the hazelnut wafer and the oh. sweet milk. Cream. I haven't tried these. You know what? I haven't tried these. I wanted to. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, those are different. Wow. I'm trying to like figure out what all is in there. It almost, there's almost a salty taste. I don't know. I don't, I don't love them. No. They're very interesting. Just like something I've never tasted. They're before. not as sweet as the Kinder no. Bar. No. That, I don't taste hazelnut. No, I don't either. All I taste is like the plain wafer. The wafer mm -hmm. tastes plain to me, and then I taste like the the sugar from like the sweet milk cream, and then the chocolate. I think I'd probably give it like a two out of five because I did like it better than the Kinder Bar, but I don't know. It wasn't. I gave that a three great. out of five. Yeah, I'd probably give them. I think I'd go a little above a two because I like them. Two so maybe a two and a half. They're very different. Like, they're not super sweet. No. They're like, it's almost like something, you know how there's some things that you can eat and it's like the more you eat it, sometimes the better it the tastes. The better it tastes, yeah. I feel like that would be one of those things. Like by the time you get to the end of the bar, yeah. you'd be like, that's so good. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It, it was interesting. Kind of like those peanut things. Like I had to eat a few of those where I was like, oh wait, I really do like these. Yeah. All right. Do we want to try different flavors? Sure. Last but not least. Come on, Sarah. You can do it. You can do it. These are the... Ahaj Brous bonbons. Delicious and fruity hard candies with a sparkling bubbly powder hidden inside to give your tongue a sweet surprise. Ooh. What, what do you want? I will go for the green. Okay, I'll take this red one. Who knows what flavor this we is. We should have had Chris help us with this video. He took like three years of German. Oh yeah, he would have done better. <laughs> I'm not good at this. I'm like, can, you, can we get a Spanish country already? Spanish speaking country, I should say. I do like this crate a lot because we get foods from different countries. Yes. So it's like a, I don't know, it's like the size of like a Jolly Rancher. And then it has like, you can see this dark, you can see this powder kind of yeah. in the middle of it. Mmm. This kind of tastes like, like a black currant or something flavor. Oh man. I would have liked that, but this is green apple, and I also really like green apple. I'm a little nervous about that. I think we're going to have to bite into it so we can Sparkling get Sparkling bubbly powder. Mm-hmm. Ooh! It's creeping up the sides. Uh-oh. I'm going to be, like, drooling. It's tingling my tongue. I'm really scared right now. <laughs> have you gotten any out yet? There's a little tiny bit coming up the sides. It's the worst sound ever, listening to someone suck on a piece of candy. We can get all up on the microphone, some of ASMR. Have you not gotten any mm -hmm. yet? <laughs> I got the powder. <laughs> it's not really sour as much as it just feels funny on your tongue. It's definitely fizzy. I don't hate these. Okay. This is what I will compare this to. This is a Jolly Rancher with crushed up pop rocks in the middle of it that's the only way i can describe it it reminds me of something though well it kind of reminds me of those um zat zots or whatever that mm -hmm. we tried mm -hmm. i give these like a two out of five i mean they're fun i don't uh, hard candy is not my favorite all right so that was our german snack crate um we've done a few of these snack crates in the past and we might keep doing these they're kind of fun if you guys like this video and you want us to keep doing snack crates we would love to um also if you have other subscription boxes that you would like us to try please let us know um we've tried quite a few so if you are new to our channel then check out our other videos and you can see what other snack crates or other subscription boxes we have tried including the british candy box which we have now tried two of those and apparently everyone loves it. <laughs> so they just want to see us try those twiglets. Yeah. <laughs> 
Thank you for subscribing, and if you liked our video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below if you have tried any of these things, um, maybe a certain way you like to eat them, or if you think there's anything else we, we should try, let us know. And um, make sure to hit that bell for notifications. Until next time, keep on snacking. Bye. Bye. Yeah, let's use your phone because we know. I talked to the kid. We know what happened last time when we tried to use mine. <laughs> yes. Let's not eat anything else. What are you. <laughs> Stop. Do 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 do